before but I am doing these recipes for you guys so I am making Brussels sprouts how it starts is I've got some bacon grease in here and I, I fried up some pieces of bacon and I have some bacon grease in here and I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar on the bottom and then that will help caramelize and take the bitterness out of Brussels sprouts so the sugars in here I'm gonna move the grease around so it, the sugar will evenly distribute. When I was young, I hated these things. My mom has a letter and it says, um, I cry a lot. She was having my brother. And besides, dad's making Brussels sprouts and I don't know, something else. So evidently, I really hated Brussels sprouts. But these, I love. These are not the old mushy, boiled Brussels sprouts that we used to have. What can be wrong with bacon and sugar, right? And I haven't met anybody that doesn't like them. So what you do is you put them upside down so they can brown. There you go. And you want to put it in one even layer. There you, go. you want to put it in one even layer. If you don't, they won't brown. They won't caramelize. And that's half the numbiness. And I have some olive oil in case my bacon grease isn't enough and you know usually I don't cook with bacon grease I usually cook with olive oil but it is Thanksgiving and you know you gotta have some good bacon fat my last one you just let them brown and then once you let them brown you're gonna add some chicken stock and you're gonna finish them off that way and then when they're done such an easy side dish see I put a little salt in there I didn't over salt these. A little bit of pepper. <laughs> Not even sure if I'll need these. Olive oil. I like this cooktop because it gets everything all heated. No matter which way I move it. The only bad thing is there are certain it doesn't do on like I think cast iron or something there are certain ones that it won't cook on but I have a little flat disc that I put down and then it goes in between and heats up so I'm just getting these brown Ooh, look see that's the color you want that's the color brown you want so you get them brown and once you get that done add your onions Cook them to a little translucent. I mean, literally, it is an easy dish. You can do it ahead of time because everybody knows Thanksgiving, that last hour, is crunch time. So you want to do it a little bit early. That's fine. Now you can stir them because the bottoms are brown. You get your onions translucent. Ah, oh, that smells so good. I can even smell... A little of the pepper and the bacon. Nothing is bad if it has bacon on it. There you go. You put the broth in just a little bit. Kind of smush them back down into the layer. Put the lid on, let them steam, then you get them out, put some, see the bacon, these, nummy, nummy. You want to do that at the last. So if you do this ahead of time, get it to this point, then reheat at this point, and at the very end, put your bacon on top. You don't want your bacon to get soggy. All right, we'll be back. Hi, I'm back. My Brussels sprouts are done. Look at that. Nice bacon on top of it. This isn't all for me, by the way. You can see my turkey over here cut up. Mmm, they're not bitter at all. Nice and tender. 
You can taste the bacon. Remember, for all these recipes, go to www.justinthekitchen.com. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. There's the little button down at the bottom. Make sure you click on it and hit the bell so you can get all my recipes. God bless. Have a great Thanksgiving.